Hey YouTubers, welcome back to my series, Professional Video Production on a Shoestring Budget. Today I want to talk to you about MPEG Stream Clip. It's a great program, it's a free program. Lots of us use it for uh, converting files, uh, you know, for our different, our different uh, editing software programs. I work with Final Cut Pro, Final Cut Pro 7, and I was having a problem um, with, uh, with my export settings, and I couldn't, for the life of me, I couldn't figure it out. A lot of you are going to go, are groaning, going, oh gee, that's a pretty... <laughs> that's a simple, a simple thing. Everybody knows that. Well, it, it is simple, but I, I just it took me a long time to figure it out, and it was frustrating. I'd, I'd export out of uh, MPEG, drop it into Final Cut Pro, and I'd have to render it every time I touched the, every time I touched the MPEG clip, uh, I'd have to render it. It was really driving me crazy. So I finally figured it out. It was staring me, staring me right in the face. Real, it was real simple. It was staring me right in the face. So, so let's just have a quick look at this. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to start in Final Cut Pro. Um, let's open up Final Cut. And uh, I'm starting in Final Cut Pro. Uh, let's, let's create a new sequence. We're going to call this uh, MPEG vid. And let's open that up in the timeline. And let's drop a um, piece of uh, video in there. We're just going to drop anything in there. Now I shoot with a Sony V1U, and um, and that's that's the uh, shoots in the with the HDV video. So when I dro go to drop this in the timeline, put an endpoint on there and a quick out point. When I go to drop it in the timeline, this is a new sequence. It's going to ask me for best performance. Um, it will match the clip settings. That's the cl the, the clip of the video. That I'm dropping in the timeline, so I'm going to accept that and say yes. And now let's, if, if you don't know your format and you're working in Final Cut, it's as easy as going into audio video settings and it shows you your sequence preset is HDV 1080i 60. That's your Sony HDV uh, format video, your, your video codec. So now let's um, let's open up uh, let's open up MPEG. Let's hide Final Cut, and let's open up uh, MPEG. All I have to do, I'm going. This is uh, <clears throat> this is footage I shot with my Sony Action Cam MPEG footage, and I'm going to open up a clip, and it just opens up MPEG Stream Clip right away, and it, it's it, there. It is right there. So let's uh, let's let's set an in and an out point so we're not. You know, it doesn't take up too much real estate. On our keyboard, we can set an in and out point. There's my shot, tilt down to the river, create an out point. And now we're going to export that to QuickTime. Now, like I said, the, the problem I was having was my export settings, and I was just overthinking it. I was looking all around, I was looking at options and trying the different settings and, and the frame size and I was just overthinking it. Of course, the solution was right here in compression. And, and once I found it, I just went, oh, <laughs> of course, there it is right there. And I'm just looking up into my um, Apple TV. There is my HDV 1080i 60. And that's all I needed. Set that, set that, make movie. I'm going to call it uh, MPEG. Clip. I'm going to save it in one of my internal, uh, one of my media drives, and we're going to save it. Um, so it was, it was, it was just staring me right in the face. It was, it was a very simple solution. Uh, okay, so that's done. So let's uh, let's open up Final Cut, and that, that's the uh, the new project I just, uh, the new sequence, the new project I just started. And um, let's find my the file I just converted. I put it on my uh, one of my media drives, and I called it um, MPEG clip. There it is. There. I'm gonna bring that into Final Cut. Put that up in the viewer, and I'll just put an I'll just put a quick in and out point there. And um, let's actually put it right on top of this. Starting there, 
Uh, don't need any audio, and we'll let's lay that in there. And now there you go. Sure. I don't have to render it. it it's it's uh, it's all ready to go, and um, and I'm in business. It was that simple. So I hope that helps some of you out there. Uh, like I said, I couldn't find the answers to this on the internet. I looked and looked and looked, and I spent a lot of time trying different things. It was it was getting kind of frustrating. Um, and it was just right there, staring me right in the face. So I hope that helps from you guys. Um, and, uh, you know, there you go. So you know the routine. I'm trying to grow my channel and uh, grow my income. So subscribe to me. There's a link down here. Click on that and subscribe. Uh, clip up here, click up here. You'll find links to other, other videos. My series, video, professional video production on a shoestring. I've got a lot of tips in there. I've been doing video production now since 1980. So... I think I've got some, you might find some tips in there that'll help you uh, save money, make your videos better, all that kind of good stuff. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.